Hi everyone, this is Sinead, and in this video for Self and Living, I'm going to do another show and tell, this time using my own physical body. So, this has got to do with my ears. Okay, now each one of us have got something about ourselves. As they always say, we've got some, or maybe a few, or even the whole body that we have an issue with or a problem with in some way or another. And we always have reasons, justifications, and excuses for it. Now, mine, when it comes to what everyone can visibly see, uh, we can even compartmentalize everything into what everyone can visibly see and what only we can see. We've got some issues in both categories, <laughs> okay? So with me, in my past, and this pattern or thought pattern does come up every now and then. It has to do with my ears that ever so slightly does stick out. Not as much, but, you know, I even have a little uh, funny face that I sometimes play with that uh, my partner <laughs> eventually forced me to become comfortable with, which was a little monkey face where he sticks my ears out like this and then I go like that. <laughs> so... Uh, it was interesting because this dynamic that he brought in made my relationship also with my ears, taking it to another level of making it more comfortable, especially when he did it in the beginning of our relationship in front of his whole family. Okay, so, and I was like feeling it was embarrassment coming up and like, oh my goodness, you know, you're taking it just a little bit far now because, come on, man, I'm comfortable with it. I've gotten over my ear issues. Um, I don't need to do this to prove anything. Meanwhile, meanwhile, when he actually did it and I gave in, I realized, you know what, this is taking this relationship to a whole other dimension. Who am I in relationship to my ears and really playing with them more explicitly in front of other people I barely know? So here I am doing it also in the self and living video <laughs> for everyone to see. Um, and I know, you know, for, for many people, you know, we sometimes think uh, there can be someone else whose ears stick out even more listening to this and be thinking, you know, why, does, why do you have issues about your ears? Have you seen mine, you know, in comparison? So, you know, or you've had an issue about uh, your, mm, your eyes and another person comes up to you and shares with you, oh, you know, I've got such an issue with my eyes. They're not like perfectly shaped. And then you kind of go, ah, have you seen my eyes? You know, why are you complaining? So, look, it's not so much about the years, really, as it is that we all have our personal kind of self-created issues and problems that we've created on a personal individual level within ourselves. So also just, you know, for, I mean, I've done it, you know, in my past where a person came up to me and their ears were like perfect and well, perfect according to my opinion of perfect back then. And they would be saying how, how their ears look and complaining about it. And I was like, um why are you complaining, you know, kind of going also into that comparative state. And that also just shows, you know, the, the problems really that can come from creating an issue, an emotional issue about your physical appearance. It's like you, you don't become a nice person. And, you know, when, when someone else back, if I were more aware if I was if I was aware as I am now, I would have handled it this way. I would have the person that come to me and complained about what their ears look like. I would say, okay, but you know why have you created an issue about your ears? I and mean, where's that coming from? Um, do you really want to, for example, be in a relationship with someone who has an issue about your ears uh, instead of being in a relationship? Be, um, with getting to know who you are as a person, you know. So it's like, where's your problem? What's really going on inside of you? Because the, the, the points that we are projecting onto our, our physical appearance is actually originating from deeper 
shift things within ourselves. Um, an example is with my ears. I, uh, I was bullied when I was younger at school. Uh, because of having red hair, I had flaming red hair <laughs> and freckles. And I was the only one in school with red hair and freckles. So, and back then as well, because I always had to tie up my ears, ach, my ears, <laughs> because I had to tie up my hair, my ears were more prominent. And interestingly enough, the shape of my ears started changing as I was growing up. So um, back then in my school photos, they were a lot more prominent, and I was made fun of. And uh, it's like uh, quite a problem because if you're bullied or made made fun of in school and you don't have a foundation of self-love, self-acceptance, self-appreciation, if you don't have a reference of what it means to focus on who you are as a person, you know, what are you, what are you going to do? You're going to listen and take in and take to heart what everyone else is saying about you. And that's what I did. So throughout the years, I've been doing my best to hide my ears. And um, until the time where I had to also shave my head. So everyone has also a reference of that. Um, in uh, there are some pictures in my Facebook page. And you know, that challenged so many things about myself because I couldn't use my hair to hide anymore, you know. And that's what I did. I used my hair to hide. I, I used it to, I had to figure out ways to how to tie it up, to wash it and prepare it specifically and make sure it hides my ears. I don't want to put my hair behind my ears. Um, you know, it was exhausting just to, and that was me even later in my late teens, when I wasn't bullied anymore, but I was still carrying the conditioning that I had done unto myself and my appearance from when I was a child, you know? And it's like I never woke up from it until the day I shaved my head. And the shaving of my hair, you know, I understand that there are many references out there on the internet, but you're know, just hearing it from me, um, the one who actually did it for myself, I challenged um, my physical appearance. And many think that, you know, you can just do it inside yourself. In, in, with some things, yes, you can. But if you are able to just really do something, like an actual doing that will, on a, on a physical, real level, um, change your experience within something, then I'd suggest doing it. Um, and I'm not, I'm not saying for everyone to please shave your head. I'm not, I mean, I understand in, in this world, not everyone can do it. But if you can do something like, if you're someone who wears your hair loose all the time because you don't want to show your face or your hair looks different or something like that, then how about just tying it up? You know, do something different to see who you really are inside yourself. That's all I did. I did something different to challenge who am I really, how much emphasis and focus am I putting still on my physical appearance? How much am I really focusing on who I am as a person? The, rules, the reason why I also did that was who I am and what I do is to assist and support people and being yourself, being, not being yourself, I mean, who knows who yourself really is, we, we, we change and we grow and we expand day in and day out. What I mean by that is assisting and supporting people to reach and live their utmost potential day in and day out. But I can't do that for others if I, even inside myself, had so much focus and emphasis and a relationship to my physical appearance. So just challenge it from the beginning. And since then, um, it really reset something deep within myself because since then, whenever things come up here, I immediately pay attention to it, I direct it, I change it, and I walk through it. So um, it's like I had quite a shock because even though I'd worked with physical appearance within myself before on an internal level, doing something so different physically 
challenged even more deeper dimensions. And I realized, whoa, I'm still putting a lot of emphasis and focus on what I look like. And what it also opened up and challenged within me was, you know, part of me wanted to go, okay, I've done it. I can now grow my hair back type thing. But instead, I continued doing it until I was comfortable with the fact that I could have my hair shaved or not. Um, fortunately, I am in, in, in a position where I can shave my hair. Not all of us are. That's why I was saying, just do something different. This goes for both men and women. Do something different. Challenge yourself. And But don't like extreme. You know, that extreme's not needed. Even the smallest thing can make the biggest difference. So this also coming to, with my partner, challenge, challenging me with my monkey face in front of his family and, uh, you know, different people on a physical level. That's also, you know, quite a change because it's a whole different story speaking to someone over the internet as opposed to, you know, in real life. And uh, that is something I can also share in other videos about that difference and how I also had to make sure I'm always the same, you know, whether you meet me over the internet or in real life. And... To take with you for this video is, it's like you've got to have a look at, are you still holding on to a judgment of your own physical appearance based on something that happened a lifetime ago? And so you've got to wake yourself up from it. You've got to shake it off, really. There's no other way. I could have made a whole issue about it, you know, and walked a whole lifetime around it. But instead, I was like, you know what? I am here right now in the present. What happened back then was based on a memory. There's no way I'm going to anymore carry this burden of a memory within me and on me and as me. I'm changing. And I just started doing different things. And um, every day still, you know, new dimensions open up in my relationship with my physical appearance that I'm challenged with. It's not something that, you know, changes and then it never comes up again. You just become more efficient and immediate and effective at directing your own thoughts when it goes to your physical appearance. But make peace with the past. Stop carrying those people or things that happened to you with you and find a way to redefine you for yourself. You know, start taking back the power of who lives inside of you and this body, and that's you. And you start deciding the relationship you want to have with yourself and your body. All right, everyone, thank you very much for joining this video. And I'll see you in more to come.